So the other topic besides uh, recession and inflation and Bitcoin that everyone seems to talk about here yeah. is the metaverse. And you are a believer in the metaverse, like in a big, big way. Look, we'll onboard 150,000 people their first day at Accenture. They will go into the Accenture metaverse. And when they're there, they're not just going to talk to each other. They're going to go visit an innovation hub. They're going to learn okay, so all about Accenture. Just, hold on. So what, <laughs> when you say that you're onboarding 150,000, and there are 150,000 people are doing this? Over the year. Over the year. And they're going into the metaverse. What does the Accenture metaverse look like? So it's a place. It's right? a place. So you go into the metaverse. You will meet up with other people. So right now when you do the Internet, it's one way. And right? are you talking Oculus using like Horizon so we, or something like that? We use both um, headsets and we use 2D because you actually can experience the metaverse in both with 2D and 3D. Okay. But, you know, like when you are um, talking on a Teams call, only one person can talk at the same time. When you go to the Accenture metaverse, it's like being at Davos in a conference, right? You talk to the person near you. Uh, you can't hear the people that's farther away, and you can move around the room. And then we can port you. So, like, in the middle of the pandemic, when we couldn't take clients to our innovation hubs, I would host meetings with clients in our metaverse. And are take you to a Julie, hub. Julie, or are you, like, a, a cartoon character? What I'm, a, you... I'm an avatar. You're so, an avatar? Right. And uh, I get to pick my wardrobe. And okay. I have to tell you that there's not enough choices yet, but, uh, but I'm an avatar. And, and it's so real in the fact that you can, like, I can come up to you in the metaverse and not hear someone else, that you almost forget that you're not physically with someone. And we've actually built, I hope you go to it, we've built um, in partnership with Microsoft and uh, Klaus and the World Economic Forum, we built the Global Collaboration Village here at the forum to reimagine how we're going to collaborate. Because as great as being here is, you can't actually immerse yourself in experience. So if you go take a, take a tour of it, we can take you to sub-Saharan Africa, and you can see the effects of climate change, and you can be talking to people about it, and you can do this across the globe. Becky has a question for you back in New York. This is like our own metaverse, actually. It's called it the Swalkverse. Becky? Yeah. You know, Julie, that's really interesting. I just wonder... I mean, is that the end of big conferences like Davos? You're, you're in Davos right now. What's different about what you can offer versus what you're doing right now in Davos? So what's different is the immersive element of it. So the limitation we have here, Becky, is that we're not actually able to go see this. So think about refugees. Imagine if you're taking people to a refugee camp, you're meeting the refugees, you're understanding the real conditions, and then you're problem solving. So it's not an alternative to, but it's also not the same as saying as what you're doing here. It allows in an immersion. And actually, there's science. The reason we onboard 150,000 people is the science says that you have 30% greater retention in immersive learning. Now, you can't do that for hours, so they're not spending hours, but there's actual learning impacts as well.